passive solar, photovoltaic solar. Photovoltaic hot water. This week on The Green Economy, we are all about solar energy. Solar energy, radiant light and heat from the sun has been harnessed by humans since ancient times using a range of ever-evolving technologies. Solar radiation, along with secondary solar-powered resources such as wind and wave power, hydroelectricity and biomass account for most of the available renewable energy on Earth. Only a minuscule fraction of the available solar energy is actually used. The total solar energy absorbed by Earth's atmosphere, oceans and land masses is approximately 3.85 million exojoules per year. In 2002, this was more energy in one hour than the world used in an entire year. The amount of solar energy reaching the surface of the planet is so vast that in one year it is about twice as much as will ever be obtained from all of the Earth's non-renewable resources such as coal, oil, natural gas and mined uranium combined. We are now only beginning to understand how we can take advantage of the vast resources provided through solar energy. As technology advances and our efficiencies improve, our world could be powered entirely by solar energy. If you're taking green seriously, especially at home, there's a couple of things you ought to know. You actually need to be really efficient two kinds of solar power on your house. One here that does your hot water, but a second one's needed for electricity. Photovoltaic. That's what this baby is right here. Between the two, you can guarantee to run your house way more efficiently. Solar panels are not just boring solar panels. You can go for something really interesting like these blue designer variety here which embed onto your roof very much like a shingle would but of course they're actually tiles themselves. Very aesthetically pleasing. I personally would go for kind of this kind of a thing as opposed to this kind of a thing but hey it, it really doesn't matter because whichever way you go you know you're going green. This is going to come as an enormous surprise to you, as it does my father and my mother, but I'm not a scientist. I just do this for television, but I have a job to do, and that is to explain to you how green energy from your roof through a solar panel reaches the light switch. Bear with me. One solar panel, this one in a particularly delightful blue. Inside this is a lot of silicon, and you can see here the very, very small copper wires. That basically is what this thing is made up from. So how does it work? Well, the sun comes out, bing, fires off this delightful panel, which agitates the electrons within the silicon structure. The copper wires you see then pull that energy, drop it through your wiring system down to an inverter. Because remember, this power comes off your roof as DC, direct current no use. It needs to be changed to alternating current, AC, hence the inverter. And that is it. Green power, whenever you want it, a flick of a switch. From large solar collectors to much smaller installations in fixed positions, taking advantage of the sun is in full swing. Solar panels have been going mobile for years. Cars, aeroplanes, boats, satellites and even remotely controlled vehicles are on other planets using it. Let's face it, the sun is a massive source of energy for our Earth. Think about all the different energy we get from the sun so far. Hydro, wind, wave and direct solar is just in its infancy. But we're already on the way to utilizing its great potential. 